well back again uh, in the fields with my 18 by 15 sunray nice little spade and I've been here about an hour and a half well not on this field but just wandering around and we've had about four things but uh, plenty of pottery and stuff like that and this was on the surface Here's a beautiful hammer coin. Hope you can see that. I haven't really looked at it. Just saw it was uh, hammered. Excellent. Chuffed at that. Just some more dating evidence. This is the field where I found the uh, 1657 ring which is at the British Museum being valued but we can't firstly the uh, offered me 800 or they offered me and the farmer 800 to a thousand or that was the valuation then they changed it to 425 pounds and they wouldn't move from that figure so I have gone to the Secretary of State which is how you, what you have to do so anyhow I hope you can see that Okay, I wasn't getting much sensitivity before, very dry ground. This is uh, kind of wet, so anyhow, uh, I've done well here, wherever it is. It's not as old as uh, my hammers, but there you are. How about that? It looks like a, could be a half crown, 12 and a half P. So let's have a look. Yeah, it's a George V. He started in 1911, so yeah, there you go, nice half crown. Nineteen thirty-one, so it's fifty percent silver. Good find, very good find. Just with that second bit of silver, and you found about ten things. Fantastic. Let's go and find some gold now. Okay, quick run through of my finds from yesterday. Uh, so I've got, uh, I was quite chuffed actually that I found so much. Bearing in mind I only found about two things in the first hour and a half or whatever. So anyhow, some, uh, well, some old coins but not identifiable. That is Victorian, but uh, I want to try and save that one. Then we've got uh, scrappy stuff, scrappy copper, plug, probably from the war actually. Got a bit of water on my activity in one field. A scrap, baling tags which got on my nerves. Should be able to ID those out, but uh, because they have the same ID number on the e track, but I don't. It's just such a good field that I just dig everything. Quite a bit, few bits of lead there. Bit of scrappy brass, shrapnel. Couple of interesting bits there, but nothing special. I think this is a nose comb from a, from a some kind of anti uh, anti projectile plane anti projectile. And the good stuff, which is. That came out nice. 31. Is that as big as the dollar? Does anyone know if, if that is as big as the silver dollar? You know, the old silver dollar? I'd like to get one of those. And there's the uh, obverse or the reverse. George V. 50% silver. And here's the find of the day, which uh, I hope people can see. I've got no idea on the date, so if anyone's got any idea, that'd be fantastic. You can just see the person's, or the king's head. Hope you can see that. So yeah, that was about half an inch down. And I've, I've found about 15 hammered coins on there as well as the uh, gold poser ring 
which is been looked at by the Secretary of State. So, anyhow, I hope you can help me ID that coin. And there's his head once again. So, there you go. Uh, turned out to be a good day. And I uh, hope you find some gold.